A pretty big day for A123 Systems and for the state of Michigan. The company is announcing the grand opening of the largest lithium-ion battery plant in North America in Livonia, right there in central Michigan. We are joined by Governor Graham Holm and A123 CEO David View. Uh, Governor, uh, how did you get A123 to move to Michigan, and what will this mean for job creation in the state? Well, it's going to mean job creation to the tune of 300 right now, 500 in January, and up to 3,000 over the next couple of years. And Michigan had first in the nation battery tax incentives for any battery company to locate in our state. So I got the legislature to agree to that at the same time as the federal government was putting out its battery grants from the Department of Energy. We saw what was happening on the federal level. We pancaked our incentives on top of it. So we were able to lure A123 from another state. I won't say which one, but the bottom line is I was so pleased that David and A123 selected Michigan, along with a number of other companies that have also selected Michigan as a result of those incentives. Uh, is this part of a broader plan to, to, to entice uh, other technology, uh, renewable energy technologies to the state? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Michigan for 100 years have proudly been the auto capital, but really our, our economy has been balanced on one leg of an economic table, and you can't have a stable table on one leg. And obviously when you saw what happened in 2008 with the auto industry and the financial meltdown, we knew we had to diversify. So we've been adding new sectors to our economy. Clean energy is one of them. Our goal was to diversify both inside and outside the auto industry. Clean energy technology, advanced battery systems are one example of that aspect of diversification. We've got five others. And uh, Mr. View, uh, you were awarded a $249 million uh, Department of Energy stimulus grant last year. Uh, how have you been putting that money to work? Well, this is uh, what you see today in the factory is the best example of that uh, in practice. We, we took a facility that had been shuttered, a plant that had made VHS tapes years ago and was unoccupied. We outfitted it with brand new state-of-the-art equipment, clean room facility and dry rooms for battery manufacturing. We bought equipment that we filled it to make uh, battery cells and systems, and um, we've employed 300 people so far. Can I just say, I was just talking with a few of those employees. Half of them had been laid off from the auto industry and are now working. Half of them had been collecting unemployment checks and are now at work here in this facility. Wow, very exciting for them. Uh, Mr. View, can you talk a little bit about who, uh, who some of your customers are? I know the, uh, the battery space is very competitive. Uh, a lot of very competitive Asian firms, a lot of the big auto manufacturers have contracts with those Asian firms. Who is A123 targeting? Well, we've got business uh, across a number of sectors. In the automotive space, we have passenger car business with um, BMW, for example. We've got programs we've been working on with GM, and um, we're in China with the largest car company in China, Shanghai Automotive. Uh, Fisker Automotive, a uh, new car startup with an uh, exciting new car in Southern California, is uh, going to be using our batteries for passenger car. We're the largest supplier of batteries, advanced lithium-ion batteries, for the heavy-duty space for truck and bus. Navistar, Eaton Corporation, Daimler, uh, and multiple programs. We're actually shipping batteries uh, being made in Michigan in this facility right now to Germany for uh, Daimler applications. Uh, Volvo is using it for refuse trucks. We're on double-decker double buses in London and single-decker buses in, in uh, New York and a variety of other applications. Right. Um, and uh, lastly, you guys had a phone call from the president this morning. How'd that go? What did he say? It was great. I was in the middle of my speech, and a big phone call ring burst out over the loudspeakers. It was the president when we answered the call, and he was trumpeting A123 as an example of a success story from the stimulus and an example of helping to lead our nation to energy independence. Of course, he referenced the number of people who will be working here as a symbol of the greater number of people who will be working in the other factories and battery companies that the stimulus grant has grants have also provided. So it was a great call, a great moment for A123. It was a, it was a great call. You know, the... Um there's criticism abounding on spending money, but I'll tell you, putting money into getting us off of foreign oil is money well spent, and that's what this is about. Right. Well, very good. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate it.